Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Happy Monday to you. Second day of the week. I hope so far your Monday's kicked off good. Mine hasn't been horrible. It's been hot, but not horrible. Anyway, today we're continuing to read out of the book of Romans together. We are on chapter 13. Let's jump into this, shall we? Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resisteth shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Sorry, the page is a little hard to turn. She's a little old. But if thou do which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For, for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their duties, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. O oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. We're talking about following the law, listening to the people who are running things. Our leaders are appointed by God. That's what we believe. And we are to follow the law and be good people into their law. Now, if this goes against your convictions, which God has given you, like, you know, hey, don't believe in Jesus. No, we don't follow that law. Not whatsoever. That's not something we do. We don't follow laws that say to disobey God. We don't do that. We answer to God. But we're to be good citizens. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed the night is far spent and the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light let us walk honestly as in the day not in rioting and drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness not in strife and envying but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof don't be doing evil things put on Jesus 
Don't worry about what your flesh wants. You don't got to fulfill the lust of your flesh. You want to do spiritual things. You want to do the things of Christ and of the Father. Such a short chapter, only 14 verses. Just wow. It is what it is, though, you know? I thank you for coming to take this time to hear the Word of God. I find this chapter pretty interesting about how we're to follow the law, not worry about being, you know, punished for following the law because we're following the laws. Excuse me. That good cops, well, excuse me, good rulers ain't going to punish people who are doing good. They're not. They're going to punish the people that are doing bad because they deserve the punishment. But, like I said earlier, when it comes down to it, we follow the law. We do what's right within the law's eyes. But when it comes to God, and we know that God has something way different than what they're saying of the law, you got to disobey that law. And you're going to have to be willing to take the punishments for it. Because I believe that there's going to be a time to come where Jesus is outlawed. And we're not going to be allowed to worship and believe in him no more. And I think a lot of the church is going to be like, yeah, okay, we're going to just follow the law and do what we're supposed to, and it's not going to be good. And then there'll be people, I like to say like me, who are going to say, no, I'm not going to forsake Christ. He's never forsook me, and I am willing to go and take the punishment for not forsaking him. Whew. That's going to be a day. that will be a day when that day gets here we'll come to that day mm. it's sad to believe that, that the world's going to come to that that we won't be allowed to believe in Christ by law and that we'll be considered criminals for believing in Christ worshiping Christ and the Father just madness but it is what it is I love you guys I truly do and this is why partly I share the word because I love you and people need to receive this word the other part is because I truly believe the father wants me to share the word with others he wants the gospel shared, and I want to do his will. I definitely want to do his will. Learn to continue to stray away from my own. My will is not important. Not in the least. And the kingdom of heaven's at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is coming back. And if you're not ready to meet him when he comes back, it's time to get ready. It's time to repent of your sins, to accept him as the Lord and Savior, to accept him as the Son of God, to believe in his crucifixion that did happen. He died paying the price of our sins. He took it upon himself. Someone who was blameless, sinless, perfect spotless lamb became our sacrifice and then he rose from the dead three days later to justify us conquering sin, death and hell it's time to come to know how much your heavenly father loves you how he wants the relationship with you how he gave his only begotten son that whoever so believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's love. I'm going to give you my son. So you just got to have the chance at reconciliation with me. And I know that you are going to kill him. And I'm still giving him to you. 
I don't know anybody else that's really good their son. Especially their only son. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.